I'm Wrenchie Megan Cotterell from Five Elements Martial Arts in Calgary, Alberta, and this is Sensei Ryder. Today we are going to break down Han Yan Dan. So this is, let's see, Han Shou Dan, Han Yu Dan, Han Sen Dan, Han Yan Dan, the fourth kata or pattern in our Shotokan curriculum that we do here at Five Elements Martial Arts. So we're going to break it down technique by technique and then we're going to show it to you at full speed and then we'll show it to you from different directions so you can follow along at home. So we're going to start with a ready position. Sensei Ryder is going to pull his left leg to his right, attention stance. So we do a nice formal bow. He's going to focus, get his head right, nice positive mindset. Okay, hand on down. Hand on down. So it's going to be eyes, feet, hand. So we're going the left side first. Left arm is going to be a low knife hand. Right arm is going to be a high open-handed block. There's going to be lots of dynamic tension. It's going to be nice and slow as if your arms are being pushed down. In order to begin that technique, you want to recenter and reroute. So what's going to happen is Sensei Ryder's left leg is going to recenter to his right. He's going to set up his hands. So we are going to reset our hands in this particular position a lot within this form. It depends on if it's a double open-handed block or a double closed-handed block. But as you can see, Sensei Ryder, his right hand is straight back as if you're pulling this hand back in a regular punch for that proper push and pull momentum. Elbow is nice and strong. His whole arm goes alongside his body. His elbow is not flaring. So when we go back to this recentering position, your hand should always be in this form either open-handed or closed-handed. His other hand, if it's open hand, comes on top. This is acceptable, also this is acceptable. Because you want to be able to turn and deflect into the proper technique. If it's a fist, it's going to be this way or this way. You want your chest to be nice and strong. You want your shoulders to be back. You want to have lots of balance. And when you go into that ready position, you want to make sure your heels are pushing into the ground. You're not leaning forward and you're not leaning back. So he's going to move his left leg into a back stance. 60% of his weight is going to be on his back leg. 40 is going to be on his front leg. His left leg, his front leg, his big toe is pointing the direction of where he's going. As the attacker will be coming from that direction, his eyes are facing the invisible ninja, the attacker. His hands are ready to go. Slow dynamic tension into that double block, that high open handed rising block and it's going into a midsection knife hand block. He's going to reset and recenter. now going to the right side. So his head is going to snap to the right side. He's going to pull his right leg into his left. He's going back into an attention stance. Feet are totally together. Heels and toes are together. He's pushing through his heels. He's not leaning. His chest is open and proud. Again, his hands are recentering. So that elbow is straight back, hands are on that hip, other open hand is either here or this way, we're making a nice right angle. He's gonna slide his right leg into that back stance. Again, 60% of his weight is on his left leg, 40 is on his lead leg, his right leg. Slow dynamic tension as if your hands are being pushed down, you have to force those hands up, that open hand high rising block, and midsection knife hand block. From there, his head's gonna snap to the front, he's gonna reset, so he's pulling his left leg to his right. He's back into an attention stance, both arms pull back. So that means that the pinky part of the hand is underneath that rib cage above your hip bones, chest is proud, elbows are straight back, they are not flared. He's gonna be stepping forward with his left into a front deep stance, X block. So he's catching a kick. So. He has 70% of his weight on his lead leg, 30 on his back leg, so it's 70% on his left, 30 on his right, his shoulder width apart, his back is straight, his chest is forward. He's gonna pull up his right leg to his left. Again, those hands recenter. Left hand is straight back, right hand is all prepared, set up for that supported inside block. He's gonna step forward back stance with his right leg, supported inside block. From there, his hands are going to recenter again. This is a common thing in this kata. You go back to an attention stance, you recenter those hands, 
so you get full extension and full power on the next technique. He's going to go left leg side thrust kick at the same time as his left arm does a hammer strike. It is not a back fist, it is a hammer strike. He's going to go side thrust kick, hammer strike. He's going to reach chamber, step, grab. He's in a front deep stance, elbow strike to the hand. So it's a right arm elbow strike into the left hand. You are grabbing the back of someone's head and your elbow striking. So your chest, your body, your power, everything is going to the left side. Full power. From there, he's recentering again. So his right leg pulls to his left. His hands are all set up, ready to go again. It's going to be a right kind of hammer strike because it was left previously. He's going to do that side thrust kick to body area, hammer strike. That's right, he's gonna reach chamber, he's gonna go into a front deep stance, he's grabbing back of that head, elbow strike. So, right leg is in front in that front deep stance, he's grabbing with his right hand and that left elbow, smash to the head. From here, he's gonna be setting up his hands. So, there's going to be a high rising block to the front as well as a chop to the throat. So. Right hand is going to be as set up as a high rising block. The left hand is going to spear hand out as a guard and as a setup for the next technique. He's going to switch his hips to the front, high rising block, and knife hand chop. His left leg is in front. He's in that nice, strong front deep stance again. He's now going to go right leg, front thrust kick, landing with his right leg in front into an X stance. He's got 95% of his weight on his lead leg, which is his right leg. His hips are square, and he's done a supported back fist to the nose area. He's now going to turn to the back corner. So his arms are going to cross, fingers towards the outside as if he's being put into a bear hug. It's going to be a breakaway into a double outside forearm block. So he's going to be sliding his left leg to the back corner. He's going to be turning, doing that double arm breakaway into that double forearm block. He is going to front thrust kick with his right leg. As he's doing that, he pulls back his right arm. He lands in a front deep stance with his right leg. Double punch to the chest, right hand, and then the left hand. He's going to be moving his right leg in, back to center. His arms pulled together for that double arm breakaway into that double outside forearm block. He slides out with his right leg into that nice, strong front deep stance. He's going to do a left leg, a rear leg front thrust kick. He's gonna pull back his left hand. He's going to land after rechambering, punch left chest, then right chest. He's going to be recentering by pulling back his left leg. He's gonna go back stance, support it inside block, that's right, your fist is no higher than your shoulder. You're blocking this midsection area. He's going to be doing two more of those. So he steps forward to his right, right supported inside block, then left supported inside block. From there, he turns his stance and his hips straight to the back. This is a head grab into a strong knee strike with the right. He rechambers, he turns, he sets up, right hand, Knife hand block midsection in a back stance. He steps forward, final with that ki. Ki. So now he's got the right knife hand block, right leg in front. He's going to now go back into a ready position with his left leg, back to ready position. He recenters into a tension stance with his left and a nice bow. Okay, so now we're going to show you facing the camera, full speed hand yon down, and then we'll be showing it to you from facing different directions. Okay, whenever you're ready, Sensei Ryder. Hand you on down.
Hang on then. Hang on then. Please practice at home. Get used to what direction is most comfortable for you. Slow everything down. Work on proper setups, proper stance, proper, proper speed, and proper power. Because this is a small space, and I know everyone's training in smaller spaces, make sure that when you perform the kata for real in a larger space, as a the dojo, gymnasium outside, when you're taking full steps, they should be full steps instead of a switch step. So. To utilize our space better, there was times when we compensated and didn't take those full steps forward or backwards in order to fit everything into the video so you could see us better and the technique better. But there are no switch steps in the kata. They are all full steps as you perform all of your techniques. Really good job, you guys, and happy practicing.